just watched the first episode of Grey's Anatomy called A Hard, A Hard Day's Night. So basically the whole episode was just the first, I believe it was 48 hours of these, all these interns, first day. Um, the main, the main character of the show is Meredith Grey. Now going into this, um, I know a couple things because it's kind of hard to avoid spoilers and stuff from a show that's like very big on social media so I do know a couple things going into the show and I know some character names like I know Meredith, George, Izzy, Christina, and Derek. Those are the characters I knew going into the show so um, obviously those ones I know off the top of my head um, I, and there's a, quite a bit more that I don't know their names. Um, but yeah the main folk uh, focus was on Meredith, but you got to know the other, um, interns with her. Now, first and foremost, the, one of the main things I will say I knew about Grey's Anatomy before watching was the big relationship between Meredith and Derek. So, when this episode started with Meredith at her house, like, waking up with Derek on her floor, naked, I was like, oh, okay. So they're already together. Okay, so I don't even get to watch the development. They're already together, I guess. Whatever. That's what I thought until Meredith was telling him he had to leave and she didn't know his name. And I'm like, oh, wait. See, I got thrown for a loop twice in like the first like five minutes. Because at first I thought, oh, they know each other. And then she's like, didn't know a name. I'm like, oh my god, this was a one night stand. So she doesn't even know that he works at the hospital that she's going to be working at and oh my god so yeah when the reveal came when um her resident told her to get asked dr shepherd for help and she goes looking for him, and she point the other doctor points dr shepherd out and she realizes oh my god it's the dude i slept with it was hilarious i can't wait to see because like i said i know it's going to be a thing so i can't wait to see how that romance blossoms um right off the bat my favorite character is christina I love her attitude, she's really snarky. Meredith, I like, but I don't really, I don't love or hate Meredith, she's just kind of there, which isn't the greatest thing for like, like I know it's going to focus on the other doctors, but I know Meredith is going to be a focal point of the show, so I'm like, that's not really good that I feel kind of indifferent towards the technically the main character. Um, Izzy didn't see much of Izzy. She seems like a suck up though, so we'll see how that goes. George, bless George's heart, he tries, but he's very awkward and unsure of himself. Hopefully he can get more confidence as the series progresses. Alex is a douche who I want to punch in the face. When he was being so disrespectful to that nurse, I was like, bitch, who are you? Like, this is your first day. Like, sure, this nurse may not be at your level of, like, knowing stuff, and yeah, sure, I guess nurses have to follow what doctors say, but dude, you've been here for a minute. She's probably been working there for years. Show some respect. I don't know anything about uh, the medical field, so I was, I don't know if it's realistic that they would allow interns to not only perform surgeries, but be in and watch the surgeries in the, like, in the uh, room for surgeries on their first day as an intern, but I guess I don't know anything, so I don't know. Um, I love, uh, going back to the dickhead Alex, I love when Meredith kind of put him in his place because he couldn't remember um, something off the top of his head and he was going to go look in the book and the other doctor's like, no, you should know this, and Meredith's like, I know it. I was like, yeah, put him in his place. Um... Other than that, the um, two like attendings that um, George was following and Izzy and Christina, I think, were mainly following. They're kind of dicks. Um, like, I watched ER. I've been watching ER as well. So like, I was getting annoyed with Benton on that show, but like, these two are worse than Benton, and I'm like, oh god, I'm scared. I don't want to deal with another Benton. That's worse. I will say, though, that the scene with um, George promising the patient and his wife that he would be fine, even, I'm not a doctor, and even I know you don't promise that shit, because things can go wrong. And so, even though this the dude was a dick, 
I agreed with him making him tell, making George tell the family because like, no, you, you don't do that. And I'm hoping George learned his lesson from that. Like, I get you want to console and, uh, calm the patient and their significant other down, but don't promise that they'll come out of this surgery alive, because things can go wrong. So. Yes. Also, the ending with the mom, that she has, like, Alzheimer's or dementia or something like that, that was really sad and kind of surprising to me. I didn't know anything about that. But yeah, so overall, I really enjoyed the first episode. I'd probably give it a 3 out of 5 stars. It was a good, solid introduction and gives me a good idea of what all to expect as the series progresses. Um, like I said, I really, really love Christina right now. And I also really love the friendship between Christina and Meredith. That was a quick friendship, too. Oh, also, real quick before I forget, I almost did forget, speaking of Christina and Meredith, I was actually really pissed at Meredith for not... Uh, giving the surgery to Christina when she had promised her to give to her. Like, I get in the end of things that, like, when Derek gave his speech to Meredith, like, no, you've been with this patient since the beginning, you should be there for the end of it. In that respect, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I agree with that, that's a good logic, but I'm still like, I was on Christina's side, I was like, y you're kind of a dick, Meredith? So, yeah. But yeah, other than that, I enjoyed it, and I'm gonna go watch episode two. Thank you.